Welcome to the AI Preview Show with me, Davy B, and Dog Guesser. Back by popular demand, hopefully Dog Guesser is going to tip you a few winners. Let's get on to the action. Race one is an A3 over 483 metres. Baggio Boy in one. Proper Peasant in two. Dunane Slip in three. Scala Gold in four. Mohawk Rosa in five. And in six, Droopy's Intent. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I am with Trap 4, Scala Gold. Um, the one has a ridiculous draw, uh, Baggio Boy. Um, he's had so many really nice draws and chances to win. Um, he's just not seeing out the 483 metres. Uh, the two's going to move right off. Baggio Boy's probably going to do a 30, 40, maybe 30, 50, but um, Scala Gold uh, trialled on Sunday against Gemma's Kane. Went down about four lengths or so, but was like really motoring. Um, it's a dog that that's been crying out for this step up to the to the four eight three trip rather than the four fifty. Um, it was a B three dog over the uh, four fifty trip as well, but um, it's got a little bit of a tricky draw to navigate. But I mean, it's got zero early pace anyway, so it'll be a case of um, hopefully just dropping itself out and uh, getting a pitch in round sort of the first couple of bends. Um, it is probably going to search for the rails a bit as well. Um, the six was interesting as well off the old um, off its old form but I mean the trials are less than encouraging it's run behind our our Supreme Sue um, when it faced Roxome Christoph like our Supreme Sue's devoid pace and Drooper's intent looked completely devoid as well um, and just plodded round really in that in that 600 I think it was 730 metre race but yeah, and the the three dogs an A six Perry Bar dog. So yeah, I I'd be with I'd be with the four dog Scarlet Gold. But uh, but the one has got a really good draw as well. So in race one, dog guesser's selection is trap four Scarlet Gold. Moving on to race two, is a A three over four hundred and eighty three meters. Bellagio Bauer in one, Jupiter Secret in two, Collar House Foxy in three, all wound up in four. Money Gal bounce in five and in six, tent flapping. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I am with Bellagio Bauer. Um, the three and the one raced each other on the 10th of January. The three led the one. Um, but I just think Bellagio Bauer is going to lead the inside. I think he went down about a neck that day, but it was on the worst going. Um, like I say, Bauer should definitely should lead the inside, follow the free round, and he'll probably pick it up. I think the free is a bit of a bit of a thinker. Um, I couldn't have the four. I can't have the two because it won't lead the one. Money goal bounce is an interesting one, um, but it was well held by Bellagio Bauer the last time they met. So in that in that sort of line of form, it's going to be well held by the three as well. Uh, Ten flapping again. I couldn't have that because it's not sort of. It's been on. I mean, it's not running at all now. I mean, it's well outgraded. It's uh, it's been on the much better ground. And when it was running them sort of uh, when the the May fives and A fours, it was on much better going. So yeah, I'd be with uh, Bellagio Bauer. Um, I think it's a complete match with that and uh, Collar House Foxy of uh, Glenfoots. So Dog Guess's selection in race two is Trap One Bellagio Bauer. Race three is an A two over four hundred eighty three meters. The Sander Ranger in one. Kali Court in two, Bellagio Bonbon in three, Tom's Rambo in four, Nieces Rose in five, and in six, Crin Kill Bolt. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I am with Bellagio Bonbon. Um, which is a bitch that I used to own with Mario. Um, She's now owned by Alison and Mario. She's a bit of a ping breaker. She lacks a yard to the corner. But when she gets down the back, um, she normally just, just about gets the round the bend and then she she sort of she's a little bit flat down the back as well. But she's she's almost like a plodder, but she's a, a very, very good plodder. Um she run a great race last week behind uh, Barnside Sanchez. She's gonna move off a little bit from free, so I think that'll stop the four from getting a run. Um the the six turned pretty handy to her last week and couldn't pick her up. 
it did nod around about the third bend though. Um, I think she just cut it off. But I mean, if you look at where she was with uh, Barnside Sanchez, she she passed it again after the line. She just she just has a little bit of a flat spot in her races. She like I say, she goes up to the sort of just past the um, just past the line, and then she don't quite have the pace. But as long as she can sort of get get to the corner in front of the two. I think she'll get round in front here, and I think she'd be a winner. But like, it's not it's not an easy task. The last time I think Killy Court did actually get up her inside just about and and stop her making the corner. But I thought I thought the one was outgraded. I thought Nice's Rose is in a much tougher tougher race this week. But yeah, I thought this was like a bit little bit of a mini drop for for uh, Bellagio Bonbon, and I thought uh, I thought if she can navigate the corner, I think she'd win. But it wouldn't be a race I really want to play. But so yeah, I'll be with Bellagio Bonbon. Doggess's selection in race three is Bellagio Bonbon. Race four is a D4 over 275 metres. Ilwin Cindy in one. Turn the light off in two. Penny's Dryock in three. Bang along Nutter in four. Eden Ball in five. And in six, Lutton's Ross. Doggesser, what do you fancy? Um, I ended up with Eden Bolt. This is one of the one of the worst sort of um, sprints of the that I that I can recall. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a really bad race. The three is different speed to the one, so I couldn't have that. Um, I think the three will clear the two, so I won't be able to have that. Um, the four is interesting. It's got a bit of speed, but I mean, its trials are very concerning. Sort of going around the eighteen twenties uh, when it was on the card. I had it, yeah, and it was you know fully sound. I had it like a seventeen sixty dog, but and I think it's going to edge in as well, it's more towards like a middle to rails pitch. Um, the five probably doesn't want to be in five. It probably wants to be more of a free dog, but it'll get away with it here. Um, and I think it will get space going up to the corner. Um, I do think it's just better than these. I think it can do sort of a 17.80, 17.70. Um, and the six, it just, it's just got a little bit of pace, but it's, I think it's a bit outgraded here and it's not really the most fluent round the bends. But yeah, I'll be with Eden Bolt. Like I say, I have it in about six to four, seven to four-ish. But again, it's not a sprint I'd be sort of jumping into. I just think it's a pretty bad race full of bad dogs, really. <laughs> So, Doggess's selection in race four is trap five, Eden Bolt. Race five is a B6 over 450 metres. Hillcroft Baby in one, Easy Lillian in two, Barnfield Orchid in three, Bellagio Bond in four, Redrick Riley in five, and in six, Malikul Pearl. Doggesser, what do you fancy? Um, I've sided with Barnfield Orchid here. Uh, the two and the three run against each other last week and the three was pretty much level going out of the bend um, it did have the inside pitch that day it was from trap one but I think the two will lead the inside I think the three will track it and I think the, the three will sort of take it up off the second maybe maybe halfway um, the four's box better than what it has been but the five is going to cut down uh, Redrick Riley. That's going to be a dog that would probably want the free lane. Uh, Bellagio Bond, another dog that would probably want a little bit further in, but not much more. It had been running from six and cutting in. And uh, Ballycool Pearl's actually got a nice draw on the outside. But again, it wouldn't be a natural wide dog. I think it would be more of a four stroke five sort of dog. Um, so I think the outsides are a little bit messy. Um, and the six won't clear the five and the four anyway, so it, it's going to have a bit of work to do. It'd just be better off dropping itself out wide. If it was a natural wide, I'd be more with it. But yeah, I think Barnfield Orchid will follow the two and just pick it up off the sort of second bend or, or from halfway and, and go on and get a win. It showed enough on debut. So Doggess's selection for race five is trap three, Barnfield Orchid. Race six is a B3 over 450 metres. Corin Bolt in one, Bumblebee Poppy in two, Can't Kidder Kidder in three, Wanted Chloe in four, Bellagio Bardo in five, and in six, Haven Flyer. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? 
I'm with Cork Kidder Kidder. Um, I think it's one of the better bets on the card. I, I have it in about 11 to 8, 5 to 4. The only problem is the four is going to cut down a little bit, but she doesn't have the early of Kant Kidder Kidder. Um, Kant Kidder Kidder actually run against Barntick Jackie, who was touched off in a B2 uh, today. Um, and he did a 2 8 split. And Kant Kidder Kidder showed basically the same pace as uh, Barntick Jackie. So, I mean, it's going to clear the inside. It's going to lead round and it'll probably do 28.50. Uh, like I say, it has had a, a little bit of a dropping grade and it's less pace in the race as well. Like Barntick Jackie was doing its head in, you know, from sort of halfway and then there was some good dogs in there finishing. So I think this will just get a clear run on the skin and just sort of do a 28.50 and I think I think this will, will win. But the only danger is the four just cutting down ever so slightly. So dog gets a selection in race six is trap three, can't kidder kidder. Race seven is a D3 over 275 metres. Titanic tip in one. Fleetwood... Khan in two, Lutton's Millet in three, Baby Tumble in four, Bogger Linden in five, and Ballymac Legacy in six. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I've sided with Fleetwood Kane. Um, basically, basically the, the, the one really doesn't want the one. It was probably more of a free dog. Uh, Fleetwood Kane would probably want the three or the four. Lutton's Millie's okay housed um, but she's a bit of a dodge and I don't think she's got the speed of the two either uh, Baby Tumble I'd have to play here as well um, will lead the outsides uh, probably a little bit of a drop in grade um, and I thought the five and the six were, were sort of out of the depth here um, and I think the one is as well so yeah if I was going to play I'd play the two I think it'll sort of just get round the corner here. I think it's just a bit more speedy than these type of dogs but I think the four would be the danger, but it's it's a bit of a messy, messy sprint, and it's not one that I particularly like, to be honest. So Dog Guess's selection in race seven is trap two, Fleetwood Kane. Race eight is a B3 over 450 metres. Kill Barry Cream in one, Racket Holder is it in two, Molly Coddler in three, Ballymac Mumba in four, La Freya in five, and in six, Rapido Gemma. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I have picked Racket All, is he? Um, I picked her on Monday or Wednesday. I can't remember quite when it was, but she completely walked out. Um, she's not really got any pace around her. She's going to lead the inside. I think that she comes away half decent, and if she does lead the inside, she'll probably win. Uh, the four is a bit of an interesting dog, um, Ballymac Mwamba. It's uh, had a little bit of a bit of a downgrade and probably a little bit better drawn as well, but I think the two will just get round here and win. Uh, the 60s sprint trial was really good. And then the 450 trial was maybe not so good. Um, but, you know, they put her in a, a B3 off a 29.20. So I couldn't really have it there. And the fives, um, I think, about six weeks season. So, yeah, I think I think I'll be between the two and the four. But I think the, the two will, will get round the inside and uh, don't win there. I guess the selection in race eight is trap two, Racket Hall, is it? Race nine is a D2 over 275 metres. Bushack Sweet Pea in one, Chieftain Snow in two, Drumlean Jenny in three, Greg's Wagon in four, Springwood Diaz in five, and in six, Bitview Leo. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I've got split allegiances here because obviously we have the four and um, I own the one as well, but um, I do think the one Bushack Sweet Pea is completely different speed to these. Um, the last time she raced against Trap 2, she buried it to the corner. The last time she raced against Trap 3, she buried it to the corner. Um, Wagon's taking a little bit of a step up, but I mean, he did a 17-19 last week and he didn't really come away, to be honest. Like, he'd be faster up, I think, than the three and the two um, at the minute. But, you know, he, he'd have to come away. He, he really would in that sort of class. Um, the five's got some interesting times on its card, um, sort of 1685s. I think I think they're a little bit false. Um, then I don't think it's capable of that. But um, there is a meeting where the one and the five did meet and the, the one left it for dead at the corner, but they all bunched up and then the five went round the outside and 
and got round. A uh, bit view Leo, I think, alleging a little bit from six, and it's been soundly beaten off the one. So every, everything I've seen, I just think the one's different speed to the corner. The track's running a lot better now. And in her last four starts, she's she's two wins and two seconds against pretty much the same dogs. So, yeah, I have run about a six to five, 11 to eight poke. And I, I think she'll win there. Um, but I won't be shocked if uh, Grey's Wagon actually run, run a good race there as well. So Doggess's selection for race nine is trap one, Bushack Sweet Pea. Race 10 is a B2 over 450 metres. Beach Hill Lass in one. Bitview Al in two. Shane Boy Berg in three. Barnside Matter in four. Lightfoot Quiltley in five. And in six, three inside. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I'm probably with trap five. Lightfoot Quilty. Um, it's it's a really trappy race. This, I think the what the one will definitely lead the insides actually. Um, and she's she's strong enough if she's if she's handy. Um, the four and the five, well, the four definitely has to lead. The three has to lead, and it can't. The two would probably have to lead, or or be be sat in behind probably the four, and I don't think it can be. So I can't have the two and the three. Um, I think the four will lead, which will hamper the five a little bit. And I think the one can sit behind and get a really nice pitch lead in the inside. It's, yeah, it's a really tr tough race. I mean, the five can really run, but I just can't see it clear in the four. And the six will get a run out wide and it wasn't beaten far off the five uh, last time. Um, but yeah, it is a really, really trappy race. I, I've, I've not really got an opinion on it, but if I had to side with anything, I think I think the one's guaranteed to frame up. So Dog Guesser's selection in race 10 is trap one, Beach Hill Lass. Race 11 is a B2 over 450 metres. Away Bailey in one, Black Illusion in two, Pat Can Can in three, Goulain Paddy in four, Lightfoot Elise in five, and in six, Harley Queen Lucy. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I am with Black Illusion. Um, if away Bailey and Black Illusion were the other way around, this would be pretty much nap material. Um, away Bailey has got some nice pace uh, going to the corner. He doesn't stay the trip at all, uh, even though he has one over 500 metres at Sheffield, but he just, he was an A6 dog on there. I think, Black, I mean, the three can't go with the one and the two. Ghislaine Paddy's going to edge in a little bit from four. Um and he's a bit of a strong runner, and I don't think he'd clear the one and the two. Uh, the five's got a decent makeup. Um, run well first time back uh, for Sean Parker last time, winning a B3. But yeah, if I, I mean, Black Illusion here, I think it'll just sort of either turn level with the one and beat it down the back because it's got very good back straight pace. Um, or I actually think it can lead the one as well. I think it's got enough pace to clear it. And if it does lead the one, then I think it's a winner. Mm. But you just be looking over your shoulder to see how close uh, Ghislaine Paddy is. Because he does stay quite strong. But he's quite a clumsy dog. And I think he's a little bit of a a a little bit of a thinker. So Dog gets this selection for race well, 11. Black Illusion for me. Is trap two, Black Illusion. Race 12 is a D4 over 275 metres. Bluebell in one, Lutton's Megan in two, Mustang Brady in three, Blue Lark in four, Will Mount Arrow in five, and in six, Bitview Mia. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, good question. I have virtually no idea. I think this is one of the worst sprints that I've come across for such a long time. Um, Bluebell showed a little bit of pace last time, but the only problem with her is that she eased the bend the time before that. Uh, the three's not been the same dog for quite a bit. The four, I don't think, ever wins. The six isn't really a sprinter. It just sort of plods on the outside. Um, if I had to be with anything, um, I'd probably be with Will Mount Arrow. Um, I've got it in favour at about five to two, and then I've got the one and the three in next at seven to two, and the six in at seven to two. 
I just think it's a race where you could literally put a pin in. I don't like anything particularly strongly. Um, but yeah, Wilmont Arrow's probably got the best form of all of these and it's probably more of a natural sprinter. But yeah, it's not a, not a good race. So Dog Guesser's selection in race 12 is trap five, Wilmount Arrow. Thanks for watching and make sure you click that subscribe button. Cheers, guys.